media, trucks are getting larger, more luxurious and more expensive every day. But I found the truck that will put any luxury one-ton dually truck to shame. And this is also the most expensive truck that's not an RV that we have ever reviewed. It retails for just over 162,000 bucks. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna take it for a ride and show you the coolest feature on the inside that no other dually has. So you have some nice features like a key fob, which allows you to unlock the truck remotely, even though it doesn't really beep and it has no trunk. Uh, let's get inside. Okay, so no push button start, but the ignition, like any semi-truck would be, is here on the left-hand side of the driver, so you can actually reach in easily and start the engine, warm up your truck before you actually climb up into it. I was able to get access to this truck thanks to TransWest. Use the link below and you can actually find this truck and actually purchase one if you want. Yeah, a lot of wonton dually trucks have nice interiors, but it has no comparison to this one. For example, just check out the seat, air ride. And this truck actually has four air systems and I need Mr. Truck to help me explain and demonstrate it. All right, this thing floats like a cloud. We took it to the mountains yesterday and it's unbelievable how nice the ride was. So speaking of nice ride, it's got an air axle on the okay. back end. The Hensley Hitch has airbags on it and shock absorbers to make the, the, the separation of the truck and the trailer. This is an air ride hitch. You can go fifth wheel or you can go to a gooseneck ball. And it's got airbags and shock absorbers and that actually cushions the trailer from the truck. So the truck doesn't fill the trailer and the horses in the trailer don't fill the truck. This comes up like lightning. And then it's got air seat. Yes. It's got air lumbar. Okay, that's four. And air cab. Air, air cab, two bags on the back of the cab. Okay. And we covered the brakes and the parking brake also is an air, air system, actuates the air brakes. Which so there's so not cool. really four air systems, there's actually like six yes. separate systems. Count the lumbar, it's a lot of air, a lot of hot air on this truck. <laughs> <laughs> the steering wheel has tilt and telescope. You just push the pedal, tilt, and telescope the steering wheel to get the best view and comfort. This truck is more about smoothness and comfort. That's why all the air suspension is there. That's why the transmission is really nice and easy shifting. And it's not a payload king. It has a payload rating of about 5,500 pounds, but it will still tow 30,000 pound trailer or more. You can get several different engines in this M2 chassis, but here is a nine liter Cummins turbocharged straight six engine with a rating of 350 horsepower and 1,150 pound feet of torque. Take that, Ram heavy duty trucks. Of course, you can get higher power ratings if you go with a Detroit diesel. And the transmission here is a six speed Allison, kind of like in the GM heavy duty trucks, except this is a more heavy duty commercial transmission, which is a 3200 series instead of a 1000 series in the GM trucks. This engine has the capability of half a million miles before a major service. One of the coolest things about this truck is just how the hood opens and also the access you get to all the components. Here's your power steering fluid, really easy to get to, fuel, filter water separator right here you could see it clearly yes this is commercial driver license territory basically although for private use you'll need the CDL to drive one of these trucks with a trailer but when you do an inspection of your truck you want to have access like this to all of your axle parts your suspension and the engine of course This truck is a long wheelbase and it has dual fuel tanks for the diesel. 100 gallons altogether, 50 on this side and 50 on the other side. Of course, 
Death Fluid tank is also right here, really easy to get access to. This beautiful dash, I mean, you know, it's got the wood grain on it. It's just full of gauges and buttons and toggle switches. And the one here by the steering wheel is your engine brake. It's not an exhaust brake, it's an engine brake. And the low setting, which is the bottom, is three cylinders that it opens the exhaust valve and retards the engine so it slows down. And the high button, that's all six cylinders that are activated for slowing you down with engine braking. It's all about safety. This truck is equipped with dual air tanks and the two gauges are right here and this is for the brakes mainly but also for all the other air systems on board. This would not be a luxury truck if it didn't have cruise control and you have your speed control settings right here. Um, you have your window switches right here in the lock but this is kind of cool. Um, you can use this button to flash your lights. You may have seen this on the highway when truckers uh, change lanes and thank each other and they kind of talk to each other using their marker lights. The uh, mirror heat button is cool. I mean, almost everybody with trucks that has big trailers has heated mirrors. This has that. The next button is a regen button, which I really like. That means the diesel particular filter gets blown out. You burn it out, and that's what regen does uh, for the pollution type thing. And having a manual button allows you, like if you're ready to climb up the big mountain, you can regen it and that blows the stuff out of the diesel particular filter, burns it out, and it won't happen to you on the way up the hill because when it goes through regen, you know, the truck slows down and does all this processing of burning the, the junk out of the diesel particular filter. The next one is a rear locker. You know, on a lot of semis they call them the twin screw lock, but this doesn't have twin axles back there, it's a single. So you can lock it up. And then you have, there it is, is that a USB port? Look at that, a USB port. Two of them. All of Transwest summit hauler conversions all have Centromatic wheel balancers in it. Such a big thing. These can actually make uh, your tires last 25 to 50% longer. What they do is they go right behind your wheel. This is the front axle deep dish, and you hear that inside there. What's inside these outside rings is uh, stainless steel BBs and a synthetic fluid. So as you drive, they go into orbit and they balance everything in the wheel circle. They'll balance the tire, the brakes, the bearings, all of that. On the dualies, they have one big ring goes between the duals and that's what can balance both tires at the same time. That's what it looks like. It's a big flat dish. Same thing, you can hear the BBs in there. Let's face it, you're buying this truck to haul a big fifth wheel trailer or maybe a gooseneck trailer, but you want to be seen, you want to be recognized and this truck does that with a fully custom bed on the back. And it's got a lot of storage, let me show you. First of all, it has fully lockable assisted doors with gigantic space inside. This is more than a foot of space and it continues on this side. And of course, because this is a class five truck that's able to tow over 30,000 pounds, um, of course you have some safety equipment. For example, your safety triangles are here. And of course there's a fire extinguisher on the inside of the truck as well. There's a little, little tiny sidestep in case you need a little bit of help getting in and checking the giant hitch. That's an alarm system. The truck is in gear and you open the door. So that's kind of a cool safety feature. And perhaps one of the coolest built-in features on this Summit Hauler is actually the navigation system. It's a Garmin, but it has truck information built right in. Yeah, I know you can buy apps on your phone that to do the same thing, but it's right here in the center. For example, it's giving me weight limits on the roads. It says an eight ton weight limit coming up really soon. Of course, the curb weight on this truck is 14,000 pounds. It's about 6,000 pounds more than the regular dually. It will also give you sharp curve warning, steep incline warning. It's really handy and it will also give you truck routes. Everything right here in the center. This truck is king of visibility because you're sitting so high, you can see everything around you. And it's also king of maneuverability. This truck makes really tight turns, even though it's this big. 
But dude, this truck does not have something that old dualies have. It doesn't? What? It doesn't have a center rear view mirror. Oh my gosh. Where is well, it? Well, there's a little X there. You could put one right by the X. Where is it? Well, why it's would because... you use it for? You always, it's, there's always a trailer behind you. You don't need a rear view mirror when the trailer's behind you all the time. But what's the alternative? This. This Voyager camera system, right where you can see it, and you can do so many options with this. But it, you know, it shows you the, the camera that's behind the cab for backing up to the trailer. And then there's a plug in the back if you want to plug in extra cameras for the trailer, behind nice. the trailer, in the trailer, all over the place. And they'll all come across this screen right there. Nice. This plug is part of that Voyager camera system. You can plug the the one you have to buy for the Voyager and it'll have cameras inside your trailer, outside your trailer, wherever in tarnation you want it. And another really cool feature, this cab also has red dome lights. When it's really dark at night, red light is a little bit easier on your eyes but still lets you see. I promise you a feature that no other wonton dually has. Well, it's the back seat. It's not just the back seat, it's like your living room. After a long day of driving, you can recline this seat into a bed. And because this is a, such a big cab, I am just over 6'2". I can actually lay across, watch this. <laughs> no dually can do this. You cannot really lay across inside of the cab like this. Oh, all right, good night. Andre, you sleep in the truck again. What? Look at this, Le he's got those sissy socks on. Leave me alone. Yeah, I know this truck is very expensive. But I hope you agree, it's really, really cool. And go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world. Big Rig reviews. See ya. Uh.